What's interesting about the uh, looking at the history of comics is, as Borges once said, artists invent their own precursors. So Chris Ware fell in love with the daily life of Frank King's world, where it was just a reflection of the slow rhythms of the Midwest, uh, and it was just like real life except without sex. For me, in my generation, Harriman loomed really large because Harriman crossed all boundaries between high and low, between vulgar and genteel. It wasn't the most popular comic on the planet if we're talking about art and commerce, but it sure was art. And it was a kind of art that made use of a jazz patois of Yiddish as part of the language, of Shakespeare as part of the language, and visuals that uh, moved through the Navajo blanket world of Art Deco and Cubism and also with the pure doodle drawing implied by uh, Topfer taken to its most high expression. In a very simple slapstick comic, instead of telling a narrative story that continued from week to week, a little bit like some of the uh, Gasoline Alley pages, for instance, moved, he worked around a theme. So the theme was the story. So it was always about a cat, a mouse, a brick, a dog, uh, but the permutations were vast. One of the things that fascinated me about Harriman was the fact that he was beloved by intellectuals. But the other thing that was fascinating is when the intellectuals would talk about it, they say, yes, Officer Pup represents authority and fascism, and the mouse, that represents anarchy, and the cat represents liberal democracy. Or, no, 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 let's start again, says another essayist. He says, no, the, uh, the dog represents the superego, the mouse represents the ego, and the cat represents the id, and the brick represents doing it. Ultimately, it's about all this and so much more and so much less. It's about a cat who likes to get hit by a brick that a mouse throws at it. And by containing all possible meanings and narratives in that really simple, in quotes, uh, metaphor of the cat, the mouse, the brick as an act of love, uh, it becomes ultimately the narrative equivalent of cubism. In cubism, you see a guitar from the front, from the side, from the top, all at the same time dissected. Here are all stories, the political, the sexual, the slapstick, told in one comics page, period.